Hey, it's Eric Holland. I was at the Apollo Theater the other night, April 30th, 2010, for Sharon Jones and the Dap Kings, who are the star of the Dap Tone record label out of the Bushwick neighborhood in Brooklyn. And there's really no other label I know of that's doing a better job keeping soul and R&B music alive in 2010. They got started in the late 90s, and Sharon has been leading the charge She's a 53-year-old woman who is a remarkable story. She tried music uh, when she was a much younger woman, and despite her enormous talent, she really wasn't successful, but she kept at it, and about five years ago, people really started paying attention. She struts the stage like uh, Tina Turner did, uh, opening for the Stones at Altamont playing with Ike, and she's got tremendous pipes, and she belts out the authentic soul in R&B, uh, really playful with call and response between uh, she and her band. And they do a lot of the, the stuff that's a throwback to the Apollo of the late 60s, early 70s, artists like James Brown, uh, where uh, instead of just Sharon coming on with the band, the band warms you up a little bit. And uh, this guy named Binky does the the uh, stage announcements where he's telling you about Sharon's hits and the band is playing a few seconds of each in a medley to get things started. These kinds of real showbiz touches that they carry off magnificently. And uh, speaking of that guy, Binky, he was, he was leading the opening band. Uh, it's uh, the Melomatics. You've got to catch these guys if you can. Sharon, you're probably only going to see in a big hall, but I imagine you can catch the Melomatics uh, in a place like Southpaw or some other little venue. I noticed they recently played there. And they're a five-piece. Uh, again, very trad, soul, and, and R&B. Uh, but along with the five members, they have three dancers who are very, very distracting in a good way. I'm Eric Holland. I'll catch you later in the Holland Tunnel.